If you're new to fiddle, I know that the instrument itself can seem a little bit intimidating. In this video, let's get you to acquainted. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Many people think that a fiddle is a different size than a violin or even a different instrument, but actually they're the same instrument. The only differences are the style of music and sometimes the way the instrument is set up, like the shape of the bridge or the type of strings used. Let's talk about the anatomy of the fiddle. Pull your fiddle out of the case and gently hold it by the neck here to follow along with me. At the top, you'll find the scroll and the pegs. Moving downward, you'll see the neck, the ebony fingerboard, and the strings. The neck attaches here to the body of the fiddle, and then down here you'll find the F holes and the bridge. Inside, if you look in there, you'll see a little, a little stick, a little dowel going up. That's called your sound post, which allows the sound of the instrument to vibrate and distribute throughout the instrument. Down here are the fine tuners that we'll use to make small tuning adjustments where the pegs are used to make large tuning adjustments. And then here's your tailpiece and here is the end pin. This is the chin rest and many players will add a shoulder rest, or as you can see, I use a shoulder pad, which you can place on the back of the body of the instrument to give you more support and add additional comfort. Okay, let's not forget about the bow. An equally important part of the team. It includes the frog and the screw. Now, the screw is what loosens the bow. You can see that hair relax. And it tightens the bow. Watch it get tighter now. Now, this hair is real horse hair. It's important not to touch the hair of the bow because the oils on our skin can prevent the hair from gripping the strings and producing sound. So, don't touch the bow hair. This is the stick of the bow. And you can see that it has a nice camber, which is that little bow in the shape. And this is the tip. Be very careful of the tip, it's fragile. All right, there's no need to memorize all of these terms right away, but now we have a common language and hopefully you and your fiddle have gotten to know each other just a little bit better.